There was always something for Gran to grumble about. Today, it was the digging. She was getting the earth ready to plant beans, and the digging made her backache. Oh, my old bones, she said. It's all right for you, she said to the garden gnome. You don't have to put your back into anything. And take that silly grin off your face. You can't even catch a fish. Gran was taking a hot bath to cure her aches and pains when her grandson Jim came to visit her. I'll be out soon, she said. Take your time, Gran, said Jim. I'll carry on digging for you. After her bath, Gran came into the sitting room to watch her favourite programme. Jim was working in the garden. He kept digging up bones. The deeper he dug, the bigger the bones got. Then he dug up a huge bone. Ah! Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Hey, Gran, what sort of bone is this? Oh, some dog must have buried it, said Gran. She was too busy watching the wrestling to take much notice. Must have been a really big dog to have buried this bone, said Jim. Then Jim dug up an enormous bone. It was big enough to slide on. That's no ordinary bone, said Gran. That must be a dinosaur's bone. It's a dinosaur, said Jim. Let's go to the library to find out, said Gran. Dinosaurs lived millions of years ago. Bones have been found to show that they were the largest creatures ever to walk the earth. Gran rushed back to the house. There must be more bones where those come from, she said. And she started digging furiously. Found anything? Jim shouted down the hole. Gran had found many more bones. Ah, that's it. But fitting them together was like doing a giant jigsaw. The bones were so big that Gran and Jim had to get a ladder to arrange them. When they had finished, the skeleton was almost as big as the house. Those bones will make a marvellous place for my beans to grow up, said Gran. She sowed the beans and they were soon growing up the bones. Crowds used to come every day to look at the dinosaur covered in beans. I never knew that people were so interested in beans. They're only scarlet runners. Perhaps we should always use bone poles instead of bean poles, said Jim. 